All right, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Another tie of the week. Here with all tied up, fly tying school. Got a lot of fun action going on tonight. We're gonna take a couple minutes here, fire up the engines, hit the share button a couple of times, and we'll get the word out. Get this, get everything in focus here. We'll get everything lined up and ready to go. Mute button is pressed. Let's hit that view watch page. So we can hit that share button a couple of times. How's everybody doing tonight? Why don't you do me a favor? Hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. We'll get started here in just a few minutes. As soon as we get to 6 o'clock, that's 1800 hours. Central Time Zone, United States. And if you are from the other side of the planet, welcome. Welcome to this side. Connected by miles and miles of fiber optic cable and satellites and routers and it's actually just amazing what can bring us all together and how it it works so fast and we can get so frustrated so quickly when it doesn't work but we're all here together we're all here because we're not all there that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. So tonight, let's see, let me pull up my my message here. For the name of this fly. I know what it translates to. Uh, V-A-S-K-E-B-J-O-R-N. Vasborgen. Vasborge. Vasborgen. Anyways, it translates into a raccoon, but that's not what it is. It's not a raccoon fly. All right, let's see here. We got almost six o'clock. We'll get things warmed up. We will start our hooks. We got to get our hook ready. Got to get our hook in our vise. We're driving forward with some really nice moonlit 057 size two hooks hey josh welcome sean welcome and we have to get our we have a little bit of a metal dumbbell action going on this is coming right off the press we're going just for a pair of two and i just pinched the crap I think I might that might require a band-aid. That smarts. Hmm. Good evening, Father. X. Hmm. That smarted. Alright, we got Jimmy in the house. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video of the bead chain. Bead chain belly leech. That was a lot of fun to work with. And I have that uh, bead chain on my mind, and I was chatting with my friend from Norway, and he suggested this fly pattern. So, to get things started, we're going to go ahead and just do, uh, we got seven people on, we'll do roll call. How's everybody doing? Let's all check in here. So we got the Husingfeld Life. That's my brother Josh. We got Sean. We got the 406 Flyboys. Richard Husingfeld, Jimmy, and Sean still here. Welcome everybody. All right. So Pigeon Fly Tying was so gracious enough. He gave me a little sample pack of some sidling hackle. Oh my goodness. Thank you. 
I have a wonderful paramedic. The wife, she just brought me a Band-Aid. We'll get this on this finger. Thank you! Everybody thank Jessica. Came to our rescue. There we go. Alright. The show must go on. Anyways, we have this sidling hackle. And I have some of this really nice, fine, small feather stuff. We're going to save that for a, a rainy day. What I'm looking after here is this beautiful grizzly hackle. So we're going to play with some of this tonight. Yeah, and there's another small piece. So we'll set that off to the side for now. All right. Thread. We are using a Danville's 210 white. It's a waxed nylon. So we'll just cast this on right here towards the, the back end of the hook here. We don't need to run the full length of the body on this. And let's see if we can't angle up the camera just a wee little bit. Here we go. A little more centered. All right. So with this, let's go ahead and take us all the way to the bend. And we'll start with some of the saddle hackle. And this is on the end. Keep calling it saddle hackle. It's a grizzly. That's what I'm. That's the verb I'm trying to use. But we're gonna go for this big end here. We'll trim this with a nice little high and tight. And we'll tie this in here on the rear end. A couple locking wraps. We'll run our thread forward just to park that out of the way. Now we're going to palm her on. Because it's hackle time. A lot of hackle time involved with this one. And for this one, we'll go ahead and just start with the hackle pliers. We'll start using these tonight. So let's go ahead and fold our fibers back. We're going to use this feather a couple of times. We're just going to go right to it. Folding those fibers back. We're just going to run this for our touching wraps. There we go. I tied one earlier with Jess and I went a little too sparse. I asked my Norwegian advisor some advice and they basically said I need to go a little denser. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and trim that off nice and close. There we go. Alright, we'll fold this back and we're just going to take a couple of wraps into it. We're not going to cover it all up. We're just going to take a couple of wraps just on those, just to cover those last few wraps of those few turns. Here we go. All right, so that's kind of the end there. And now we're gonna tie on some dumbbell eyes, which drew blood earlier. And that smarted. All right, we got the bead chain. I just dropped them way, just out of reach. I need a magnet. Here we go. Nope, because that's stainless. That's not going to... They're fighting it tonight. Murphy's Law just kicked in on this live stream. Alright. 
we'll just take a wrap and we'll see about positioning. I want to position these little dumbbell eyes at about the third point. Breaking this into thirds. This is where we're going to park it. So I'm just going to take a couple of X wraps, kind of more or less, getting that to position. And I'm going to tie it in, not on top, but on the bottom side. We're going to take some locking X wraps. We're going to make sure this is in there nice and good. Just to give us a little bit of added insurance, let's go ahead and just add a little dab of glue. Just a little dab of glue. Get that in the mix. We really want to build this up. So we'll take a few wraps of this away. And we'll take a few wraps of this away. And you really want to be mindful. I heard a couple clicks. You want to really be mindful working around the bead chain. Um, it is kind of sharp around the edges and it has been known to hurt some, hurt some thread, put the thread in the hurt locker. There we go. Major overkill there, but that is going nowhere. Good evening, Steve. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright. So now we're going to add a little bit of dubbing. We're going to get our dub on. And with this one, I am actually going to be using some UVX ET dubbing. For this first third, I'll be using a cinnamon and the rest of the fly will be using uh, the silver cloud. But this will kind of represent the front of our little Norwegian squid. And again, my advisor advised me I was a little too sparse on my first one. So we're going to add a little bit of, a little bit of extra. We'll dub this on in 3D, 3D just for you. And I'm starting with my thread forward, just behind the B chain eye. And we're going to build ourselves a little dubbing noodle. That's too much. We'll thin that out, pinch and twist, pinch and twist. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to get it started. We're going to work our way backwards. And with any luck, here we go, we'll end up right there. Right where our hackle is coming off. I'm just going to take an open spiral forward, locking that all in. Bump my thread forward of my bead chain eyes, where we will tie in hackle round number two. Nice big shaggy hackle here. This is from Side Sideline Hackle. Sideline Hill Hackle. I like this stuff. It's real supple, real soft. Alright, so this hackle, I'm just going to line this up. There's, my, there's a bottom. So when I tie it in, it's going to be right, right, line, right in line with the front of that bead chain. Uh, 
All right, we'll go ahead and lock that feather all the way in. There we go. All right, once again, we're going to fold these fibers back, kind of give them a little pinch at the at the stem of that feather. And we're going to palmer this on. Nice and close. I'm gonna keep going. This is a lot denser than I did last time, so it makes me a little nervous. We'll do one more turn. Here we go. All right, we'll go ahead and lock this off now. A couple tight locking wraps. Here we go. Trim that off. We're going to save that for later. And these top fibers, we're going to fold those kind of up and in between the bead chain. And I'm going to compress that down and apply a little bit of friction, a little bit of heat with my thumb. You know what, I'm going to just take a, get right next to it, right next to it, push that down a little bit. In the bottom half, I just let that do its voodoo. Alright, we'll bring our thread forward. And at this point, we can just split the difference of the remainder of the shank of the hook. And this is where we will start our next dubbing application. So we'll get a little bit of wax on our line. And we're going to switch over to the Silver Cloud UVX ET dub. Just take a small little puff of that. That's too much. We'll go a little bit less. We'll just kind of spread this out. This is a lot of fun here. We'll get this. There we go. Slide that back up. Get out of there, you. That's probably plenty. All right, let's go ahead and dub on our body now. The silver cloud. Again, we're going to start in the front and work our way towards the rear. All the way to that hackle. Once we get here, we can just do an open spiral forward. We can tie in another piece of hackle. We're going to go with a slightly larger one still. Why not? It's ready, it's available. And now we can go ahead and lock this piece in. All right, here we go. Let's have some fun. It's hackle time. A lot of hackle time involved with this one. Go ahead and pinch those fibers back. That's what we're after is getting these fibers folded back to the rear.
I think that's it. We'll go ahead and secure this hackle down now. Couple of locking ramps. Bam. Alright, we're going to save that tip for a rainy day. Let's go ahead and fold this all back. And we're going to wrap our thread just into that. Just to fold that back. We're just encouraging these fibers to lay back a little bit. Just getting our thread nice and close. Excellent. All right, one more round of dub. And once again, we're going to be using the Silver Cloud UV. And we'll see how beautiful this pops once we we'll we'll, we'll turn off the headlights and Turn on the ultraviolets. All right, we'll go ahead and get our dubby noodle nice and tight. Slide it up nice and tight. Pinch and twist, pinch and twist. Less is more. All right, we're giving ourselves just a little bit of room up there, right behind the eye of the hook. Once again, we want to build this towards the rear. Right into that hackle. Beautiful. Open spiral forward, and I'm not pulling down too tight on that open spiral. All right, last chance for Hackleville. All right. Where'd my hackle pliers go? There we go. But well, we sure got a quiet group here tonight. How's everybody doing? I mean, how? What's? Who's fishing already? Who has caught a fish yet for 2018? I kind of know the answer because I keep tabs on a lot of you, my viewers out there. We chit chat, but. I want to hear from you. Who here has caught their first fish of 2018? And I'm talking on the fly. Let us know what you caught and what you caught it on. How about that? What you caught and what you caught it on. Because we're only seven days into into the new year and I'm actually thinking about going out tomorrow possibly bluegill and bass through the ice says Richard and it was right in your backyard even well, close to your backyard. Out the back door and down the hill. Alright, fold those fibers to the rear. And I'm going to build myself a little head up front. And... and to finish this off, I'm going to come in with a, my red Pro Marker. It's an alcohol based. And I'm just going to turn this white thread into a red thread. 
Um, I really like this color. It's a uh, poppy, poppy red. So let's see here. Steve has not been out yet. And Sean has not been lucky yet. I have not gone out yet. But we're thinking quite possibly tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and cover the head up with the red thread. And just like that, we'll add a splash of color. All right, just a little bit more. To survive the whip finish. And a one, and a two, and a three turns. We'll draw that nice and tight. All that will fly. Translates into raccoon. That's the name of the fly. It was, um, it might be, it might actually be in my. Let's take a quick look here. Um,. I think it started with a J. Translated into raccoon. And it's um some sort of crayfish, redfish, or not a crayfish, redfish. Um I don't know. It's a fly. It's a super fly. Squid. That's what it resembles. A little baby squid. Let's go ahead and We'll finish this off with a little bit of UV, UV head up front. And this is a UV fin by Loon. A little dabble, do you? All right, let's go ahead and give it the zap. Here we go. And that's it. My little raccoon grizzly hackle squid. I'm gonna come back on the next one. We're gonna do a little bit, a little bit more there on the red. I'm gonna build that up a little bit more. So let's say we try another one. These aren't a super fast tie, but they are super fun. Clean off my glasses a little bit. Let's go ahead and just set this one off to the side. I like it. I like it though. All right. Solid flies need solid foundations. This is a Moonlit 057, size 2. 1X strong, 3X long. All right, so this time... We're going to pinch off our dumbbell eye. This time we're not going to draw blood. And this multi-tool just works really good at chomping at the bit. So this will be 
standing by. This is about four millimeters. Actually, it measures out at 4.1 millimeters. Just a skosh more than four. All right, let's go ahead and start this off with our thread, 210 denier. Like all good flies, it begins with a single wrap of thread. We'll start right there at the, the bend. We're at the tip of the hook and work it towards the bend. All right, let's get our grizzly hackle going. This is uh, some sliding, sidling hill. This is some good stuff here. I really enjoy working with this. I'm going for the bigger of the, the bigger of the bunch. We'll start with this one. We'll start with this one, and we'll probably use this one too. I'm gonna save that small, save the small hackle for a rainy day. That's some beautiful stuff. I tell you what. <clears throat> All right. Trim off the fluff. And we'll tie this in. And this is definitely long enough for now. We don't necessarily need our hackle pliers to hold us for the few wraps. But let's go ahead and pinch these fibers to the rear. We'll just take a couple of turns. And be very mindful. Don't do it. Don't let that hackle touch the tip of this brand new hook. It will destroy it. Let me get my thread out of the way. And they get those nice long fibers stretched out, reaching towards the back. And we'll do one more turn. All right, we'll lock this down. Ooh, that's a humdinger there. Trim that off nice and close. Work it all back, fold it down, pinch it down. Cause we're gonna come in with a couple of wraps. Just a couple of wraps into the madness. Oops, almost broke that off. All right, there we go. I'm liking it. You liking it? Um, that would be a question on the price on the Grizzly would be a question for Pigeon. Um, and I know there's going to be some more available. I believe he sells it through his Etsy page, the Sliding Hill, Sideling, Sideling. I could never say that right. All right, right here at that third point, breaking our body into thirds, more or less. That's where we'll tie in our bead chain eyes. We'll just take one wrap, a couple of turns this way. Couple of turns this way, 
and roll them over underneath. All right, little dab of glue, yeah. Just a little dab of glue, yeah. Right into that bead chain. Ooh, that's nice. Now when we add our wraps, we'll get that glue in the mix. And you know where that's going, folks? Nowhere, that's where. I'm really overdoing this one, really building this up nice and nice and bulky. Because I don't wrap any um, any dubbing or hackle directly on or around the V chain. But I do want some bulk, some body there to go with it. Here we go. I like it. Oh, so Steve, you've you've uh, you've messed around with uh, some of the hackle, then. Yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, I have not purchased any myself. This was uh, came from my my best friend, fly tying buddy PJ Pigeon. That finger hurts. I can just feel it throbbing. All right, so we're going to we're going to add a little bit of dubbing here on the rear end. And what I needed to do was to go a little bulkier. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the rear, and I'm going to go forwards and backwards, and then I'll do my open spiral forward. That's the plan. We'll get twice as much coverage in theory. But, however, comma, when we apply our dubbing, we're still going to just go with our same less is more motif. Just kind of stretch those out. There we go. We'll get our dub on. UV cinnamon dub. All right, that's it for our thread. We'll pause that there. Starting at the rear this time, we're going to take it forwards. And then we'll end at the rear. There we go. Now we can do our open spiral forward. Nice and even wrap. And for grins, I'm just going to pick that out just a little bit. There we go. I like it. I like it. All right. We'll do our next round of hackle. Trim off that fluff. I'm going for these longer fibers. Yeah, a good badger hackle is, is, is some legit stuff. 
that's what I used on the back end of those yellow those yellow poppers all right lining this up right before just forward of the eyes Let's go ahead and wrap this in. Pulling those fibers towards the rear. Yeah, you get a good badger hackle. Makes for great matukas. Great matuka style f flies. I, I think that's just, that's the way to do it. That's pretty much the only way to do it. All right, I will go ahead and leave it at that. We'll secure this down. A couple of locking wraps. I like it. Here's kind of the the remnants of some good badger badger hackle. This got a little. This is definitely picked through. Let me get some of that good looking stuff there. That's pretty much the best example of a good badger that I have on me, readily available. All right, this top half we're gonna fold. In between the eyes, the rest will just kind of let it float free. We do want to get a couple of a couple of turns towards the rear. Just make sure that threads right up to that hackle. Force that top portion down between those eyes. Here we go. All right, next third point. We'll come in with some of the silver cloud dubbing. From what I understand, you know, this is this is quite the pattern out in Norway. I mean, this is a real popular popular fly out there. Going for the Atlantic trout or salmon. All right. I wanted to start this at the rear. Let's go ahead and cheat this back as fast and as far away as we can. There we go. We'll start up here. Work our way forward. Just have way too much. Here we go. Open spiral forward, locking all that in. And I'm just going to touch it with the Velcro once. 
I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's get a little more hackle in. There we go. Tie in the hackle. Secure it down. And let's grab our hackle pliers. And we're getting down to the getting down to the final end here. Keeping those fibers folded towards the rear. I think that's going to be it. Go ahead and secure this. Tip down. Let's get right up to those hackle fibers. That's what I'm talking about. All right, last bit of dubbing. We'll add a little touch of wax. Squeak, squeak. If you ever hear that squeak, you know what that squeak is? That's actually the glue um, rubbing and messing around with the the brass fitting on there. <clears throat> All right, a little touch of UVX Silver Cloud. Sometimes this works best to put it on like some cotton candy. All right, we'll work it forward. We'll take it back to the rear. Here we go. All right, and we'll do an open spiral forward. A little tickle with the brush. And the last little bit of hackle up front. We got a little, a little close to the eye. We're a little crowded up here, so we'll, hopefully we'll see if we can't sheet everything back a little bit. We'll manage. All right, one last time. Let's fold these hackle plier or hackle fibers back. We'll see if we can't break those off halfway. Come on, hackle pliers. Ah. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. One more once. 
So we're going to have a giveaway coming up here soon. Um, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway on Instagram. And I'm going to do a, a giveaway here for my YouTube crowd. Two separate giveaways, but the prizes will be very similar. Nothing super fancy, but it is a lot of fun. <clears throat> Here we go. Trim off that tip. We'll save that for a rainy day. Fold all this back. Get it to lay down a little bit. Get the thread wraps right in there. I like it. <clears throat> All right, last step of our process here. We're going to pull some voodoo magic and turn this white thread into a red thread using our Pro Marker. It's R565 Poppy Red. We'll build our little red head up front. We'll work our way down. Work our way up. We've got plenty left on there to do our one, two, three turns on our whip finish. If I can place things down the same place twice, that would be magnificent. There we go. The one. Let's see if we can't fold that one back too. Three. That's a beautiful thing, folks. All right. Little insurance policy up front. Let's come in with a little bit of UV. This is Loon Outdoors, with a flavor of thin. I'll just add a little touch here and a touch there and just kind of seal all that in. And if we notice tonight, we have not lost our stream. Last few nights, we've been having difficulties losing our feed halfway in between. So, I think we did all right tonight. Now let's go ahead and give that a zap. It appears that I have two, two stray fibers up front. There you go. I like it. That'll definitely fish. Well, you get on the profile view of it. Let's get our little grabber. There we go. Because if you don't know, now you know. All right, well, I think that's going to sum up our first. Oh, we got to hit it under the UV light with the lights down low. Show off some of the show off some of the bling of the UV action. The sucker's hot with the <clears throat> with the UVX on there. It just really, 
really glows. All right, well, we'll finish off with this. Um, yeah, 2018's here, folks. Uh, be safe when you're out there fishing, um, especially early on. The river has changed throughout the winter. Some of the rocks have moved. Some of the sandbars are no longer there. Um, so get a new mental map in your head. Yeah, that's going to be it. Happy tying, everybody, with this little guy. Tight lines. Peace. Thanks.